All right, hello everyone. My name is Mackenzie Thomas, and I was the city clerk intern at the city of Russell. Um, just a little bit about myself before we get started. Um, I graduated this year from Russell High School, and here in about 17 days, not like I'm counting or anything, I will be moved into Wichita State University, and I will be majoring in accounting. Um, over these past few months, I was hoping to learn essential skills and experiences that would be beneficial to my life. Not only that, but I was looking for something that would give me an insight into the particular career I was so eagerly going into. Uh, the following are skills that I had hoped to learn during my time here. Leadership, time management, self-motivation, adaptability and flexibility, and problem solving. I wanted to learn about networking because I personally think it's a great skill to have, especially since I will be going into college and meeting new people and building relationships. Uh, some of those relationships could also give me employment opportunities in the future. Um, I also wanted to learn about different opportunities uh, this internship could have brought me. I have had experiences that were complete, completely new to me, such as keeping information confidential, which is a skill necessary for future employment. I wanted to gain essential background, uh, knowledge about the city of Russell, and the different employment opportunities within a public organization. I made connections with different people within the organization, such as city council members, city administration, all the way to custodial staff. I familiarized myself with the hierarchical structure of the organization, and I learned that it is essential to ask questions. While at my internship, I set goals for myself to achieve. My first one was to have the ability to leave my comfort zone. Uh, this internship was going to provide me with endless experiences and some I may not have been comfortable doing. By allowing myself to get out of my comfort zone, I could learn to be open to new opportunities and challenge myself. My next goal was to be able to, uh, to face adversities head on. When life gives you hard times, you have to remember to keep a positive attitude and mindset and remind yourself you will get through whatever it is. Next was to contribute beyond myself. And this was probably the biggest one because I wanted to not only do things that would benefit me, but also my community. I think that having this internship definitely allowed me to contribute more service to other people other than myself. Uh, and my last goal was to take advantage of the new experience and expand my horizons. I didn't want to do the same thing. I wanted to be open to new um, and exciting adventures. And here are some of the things I did while there. Um, I made table tents. I did an electric demand study. I did utility payments, which was in person, but also over the phone. Uh, I recorded city council minutes. I attended meetings, ran past due notices, recorded public transportation data, which was basically taking information from a piece of paper and putting it into an Excel sheet. Uh, I sorted ordinances, which was kind of interesting because most of them dated back to the 1900s, so it was kind of cool to see how they ran things back then. Um, I filed bad debt papers, did the end of the day, did a little bit of grant research, meter reading, and pool inventory sheets and attendance sheets. I got to attend What's Up Coffee, which was basically a meeting like every other week, I believe, and they told you about the different things that would be happening around Russell. Um, and then I also finished service orders, did monthly billing processing, which was going through a list of instructions and making sure I could follow them clearly so that the utility clerks at the front could change the instructions as needed and I scanned files to email and did bank deposits. And here's a few pictures of those. So the top one is like the bus transportation and the pool attendance sheet. And then I have a housing assessment meeting I got to attend. And I got to go to a ribbon cutting for the new mechanized concepts that is coming to Russell. And it's projected to bring around 200 jobs to the community. Um, this was our public streetscape meeting. Um, then there's a picture of a meter I got to read, um, me at the bank doing a bank deposit, some grant research, and then some table tents that I got to make, and I actually took them around um, Main Street and Russell and got to converse with some of the community leaders about upcoming events and meetings that we had, and then that's just a picture of me on the phone. So uh, I had some fun moments. Um, one thing I was mostly excited about was having my own desk there, which meant I got to decorate it how I wanted to. So I brought some pictures um, from my house and then decorated with plants. 
And then Katrina actually allowed me to help her plant flowers to make the front of the building look great for summer. And then the last one was kind of like an ongoing joke around the office that Roger was someone you could always look to to Google any type of question you may have if no one knew the answer. So one day I decided to make him an award and he actually hung it up in his office. So everyone kind of thought that was a funny thing. And then I also had moments where it wasn't as fun. Um, this machine actually is what we used for billing. So you would stick the bills in, it would fold them, stuff the envelopes, and seal the envelopes. This particular day, the machine did not like me. And an envelope kept on getting stuck like every five minutes until one in particular actually like got ripped in there somehow. So three different people were trying to get it out. And then finally, Roger had to come in and take like the whole top part of the machine off. So it took around 30 minutes to get off. So needless to say, I do not use that machine anymore because it does not like me. And my personal reflection, it's a great experience. Um, usually you don't really get the, this kind of opportunity, so I'm very grateful that it was given to me. It's something that you can bring to college. Um, it'll look really good to like college professors and stuff like that, seeing that you can take anything that you learned and apply them to everyday tasks. It also looks great on your resume. Uh, people will see that you work hard and um, it'll look good to employers showing that um, you actually did something over the summer and put a lot of effort into it. Definitely builds your self-confidence because I walked in there not really knowing what to expect and doing this presentation obviously takes a lot of confidence. So. Uh, that helps a lot. And then I also learned that you can work hard and have fun. So of course, every single day I worked hard, but I also learned that you can have fun while doing it. All right, and that's all. Thank you. So Mackenzie, tell us what your plans are. I know you alluded to them, but what are your future plans and did this impact them in any way? Um, so my future plans obviously are going to Wichita State University and I plan on majoring in accounting and at this internship it definitely had a big impact on me because towards like the end of it I got to work with our HR and it kind of made me interested in going into HR and so who knows I may change my major but um, as of right now I'm definitely going into accounting so but yeah. <laughs>